If Subaru cars stand apart from cars of other brands, then the Legacy Outback stands out even from its fellow tribesmen. It is built on the basis of the Subaru Legacy Wagon, but differs from it in higher ground clearance, 20 centimeters, and the most powerful engines in the range. Subaru Outback is an off-road version of the Legacy Station Wagon, and as an independent model, it was introduced in 1996, although until that year it had been offered under the name Subaru Legacy Outback. The main innovation was the first ever Subaru six-cylinder 3.0-liter engine, 209 horsepower. Many consider the third generation of the 2003 model to be the best Outback in history. The car was equipped exclusively with petrol boxer engines, four-cylinder, 2.5-liter, 165 horsepower, and six-cylinder, 3.0-liter, 245 horsepower. Moreover, a five-speed manual and a four-band automatic transmission were combined with a 2.5-liter and a six-speed manual gearbox for European variants, and a five-band automatic transmission were combined with a three-liter. In Russia, the flagship versions were sold only with a gun, all cars with permanent all-wheel drive. On versions with a manual gearbox, the thrust is distributed equally between the axles, and on versions with an automatic gearbox, the viscous coupling juggles the moment. Modifications with mechanics were also equipped with a reduction gear. The legacy Outback interior will seem narrow to some, especially the shoulder pressure in the rear seats. A good overall impression of ergonomics is overshadowed by the lack of steering column adjustment for reach. The quality of finishing materials, as well as performance, are very decent for a Japanese car. Options Outback Rich The base comes with separate climate control, ABS with electronic brake force distribution, EBD, six airbags, alloy wheels, and a six-disc CD changer. In the top configuration, an onboard computer with a seven-inch monitor, a leather interior with electric seats, an ESP stability control system, automatic and xenon headlights are added to all this. Most of the cars were sold new in Russia, but it is not uncommon to see examples imported from the U.S. even before customs duties were raised. By 100,000 kilometers, 2.5-liter engines begin to intensively consume oil, the consumption of which sometimes reaches 1L-1000 kilometers. In this regard, owners are advised to carefully monitor its level, otherwise oil starvation will lead to very expensive repairs. The cost of work, together with spare parts, will be at least 45,000 rubles. The timing drive is equipped with a toothed belt, which requires replacement every 100,000 kilometers about 12,500 rubles with work, but the 6 has a timing chain drive. There are practically no typical malfunctions in sub-R engines, but due to their design features, it is difficult to cool them. They are prone to overheating. You should not forget about this and from time to time look at the arrow of the temperature gauge. Candles with platinum electrodes, from 450 rubles apiece, on our gasoline can withstand no more than 30,000 kilometers, although their declared resource should be three times more. The manufacturer strongly does not recommend the use of conventional candles. A manual transmission is durable and reliable, while an automatic transmission rarely lasts more than 250,000 kilometers. The clutch life is an average of 120,000 kilometers. It all depends on how you drive. For neat and calm drivers, it takes care of about 150,000 kilometers and longer. When replacing in a specialized service, you will be required from 20,000 rubles. For the clutch kit itself plus 500 to 600 rubles. For work, oil in all types of boxes is recommended to be changed every 50,000 kilometers. In the front suspension, McPherson struts, rear, multi-link. About once every 30,000 to 40,000 kilometers, the rear silent blocks of the front levers require replacement, 4,000 rubles with work for a couple. The stabilizer struts go a little longer, 4,000 rubles with work. The rest of the suspension elements usually survive the 100,000 mark. Front and rear shock absorbers, 4,500 rubles each, will have to be changed no earlier. Ball bearings, 1990 rubles each, are subject to revision at each MOT, and replacements will be asked for by 120,000 kilometers. The steering rack lasts 150,000 kilometers, its replacement will cost 35,000 rubles. Engine. The engines are reliable but, unfortunately, not without problems. The 2.5 liter is prone to overheating, a consequence of design miscalculations, and consumes a lot of oil. When buying this modification, carefully inspect the motor for oil streaks. 
3 liter less problematic, but much more expensive to operate. Transmission. Gearboxes most likely will not require an investment of money, but only if they are in the original good condition. In the mechanics, after 150,000 kilometers, the backstage mechanism loosens. Repair cheap. The resource of the machine is 250,000 kilometers. The key to the longevity of both transmissions is a timely oil change every 60,000 kilometers. Suspension. Front suspension with McPherson struts on L-arms. After 40,000 kilometers, the rear silent blocks of the levers will require replacement, from 4,000 rubles per pair. Stabilizer bushings last a little longer. After 2007, these parts have become more durable. Rear suspension multi-link, with anti-roll bars. The cost of it will be required only after 70,000 kilometers, when the time comes to replace the struts and stabilizer bushings. Repair, from 4,500 rubles. By 150,000 kilometers, it will be necessary to update all silent blocks of levers. It costs from 7,500 rubles. Body. The body is strong both in twisting and corrosion resistance, but the paintwork is weak. Chips quickly form on the hood, sills, and wheel arches, which, however, do not rust.